Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. Evelyn, Tatiana, Anita, Carlita. Hello, good afternoon, teacher. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Vamos a ver a quienes les vamos a jalar las arejas por no haber estado ayer en clase. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome to your English class. Let me share with you the screen of today's class. Today, what day is today? Tuesday, Tuesday. exactly. And it's the first day of February. Tuesday, February 1st, 2022. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Anita. Okay, so let's see. The objectives for today's class, we have objective one. By the end of this class, you will learn what count noun and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use expressions on and any. Objective two. By the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. So yes, Evelyn, yesterday we were talking about food, our favorite topic. <laughs> we have some um, activities that recall in previous class to make a review of yesterday's topic. Activity two, conversation practice. What do we need? I, we will use some and any in this conversation. Activity three, different breakfasts around the world. We're gonna learn what other people in other countries eat for breakfast and wrap up. So to begin, I have this exercise in which you are going to practice or identify countable and uncountable nouns. So I already sent the link on WhatsApp and we'll also send it via Zoom. And we are going to work on that exercise, okay? So please let's work on that exercise. I, I'm gonna share here. In the exercise, you, oh, where is it? You have to identify if it's count or non-count now there's also an explanation here an explication count nouns have both singular and plural form so the count nouns can be singular and plural they can have the singular form a or an and in plural form they have an s or es ending for example an airplane airplanes Bus, buses, one wolf, three wolves, radio, radios, hero, heroes, a city, cities, a day, days. The same with banana, bananas, mango, mangoes, a tomato, tomatoes, carrot, carrots, tortilla, a tortilla, tortillas. A pupusa, pupusas. A tamal, tamales, right? And non count nouns are always, 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 always singular. They don't have plural form. No plural form. No S, no E, S, and D. You can see some examples. Ice, soccer, history, gold. Not only food, but also other things. Homework, you never say homeworks. I have a lot of homeworks. No, it's singular homework. I have much homework or I don't have any homework. Transportation, happiness, like abstract things, like ideas, feelings and concepts, happiness, health, education, love. So the feelings, ideas, or concepts are also singular. They are non-count. Mm -hmm. And for food, we were talking yesterday that all the liquids, 
like water, like soda, water, coffee, all the liquids are non-count, okay? Uh, also, we were talking about the, the salt, right? This is my, my thing for the salt because you cannot count one salt, two salts, three salts, you can't. Salt is non-count. The same happens with the sugar. This is my, my sugar cup. In the sugar, this happens the same, right? It's non-count, non-count, okay? Mm, what else? Uh, in English, bread is non-count. If the flour, the honey, the mustard, mayonnaise, uh, cheese, um, what else? Butter, those things are non-count. So let's see, for each food below, select whether it is count or non-count. For example, bread? Non-count. Burger? Count. Yes, because how many burgers do you eat? I only eat one. It depends. Depends the size. Small ones, two. Big ones, one. one. <laughs> Meat, count or non-count? Count. Mm -mm. No. It's non-count. Non-count. Yes. You, you measure the meat in pounds and libras, right? One uh, pound, two pounds, three pounds of meat. Rice? No, come. Apple? I come. Cereal? No, come. Butter? No, come. Fish? Come. Um, oh, okay. Let me tell you that the fish, the fish we eat, it's non-count. Okay? So it's, it's non-count. Non fish is non-count. I can say, I cannot say one fish, two fish, fish. Fish is no. <laughs> it's very strange, right? Orange. Yes. Count. Count. Peace. No. Count. Not count. Juice. Not count. Not count. Jam. Halea. Jam for your pancakes. Not count. count. It's count. not count. Mm -hmm. Salad. Not count. not count. This is count because you get one salad, two salads, three salads. Can you imagine? English is. Weird. Okay, milk. Not done. No. Cookie. Not done. One oh. cookie, two cookies, three cookies. Three cookies. Oh. Four cookies. Soup. Not done. Non count. It's non count. Carrot. Count. Oh. Noemi's favorite vegetable. Right, Noemi? You love. Noemi loves carrot. Yes, she loves. <laughs> so, just kidding. Okay, coffee. Not count. Sugar. Not count. Sugar. Sweet sugar. Yes, please. Popcorn. Not count. Exactly. Non count. Yes. So, well, as you can see, um, we have. Uh, to identify, we identify if it's count or non-count. Now we have, oh, we didn't finish. Egg. Count. It's count, exactly. Water. Not countable. Tomato. Countable. Yes, we can. How many tomatoes for one dollar? Three tomatoes. Three tomatoes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> In the supermarket. 
Okay, yeah. pizza. Conta. Three pizzas. Okay, yes, you can count the pizzas. We have here a text. It's a paragraph and you have to select 11 singular count nouns. Mm -hmm. They are count nouns. For example, it says, what do professional athletes eat in a day? LeBron James is a basketball player. He tries to eat three meals and a lot of protein on game days. For breakfast, for breakfast, LeBron eats an omelette with salmon and pancakes with berries. For lunch, he eats pasta and vegetables. Before the game, he has a sandwich and apples with almond, almond butter. After the game, he drinks a protein shake made from almond milk and some fruit. For dinner, he eats a salad. Well, yesterday we were talking about this, right? About what you eat for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. And here you are reading about a professional basketball player, LeBron James. So what are the singular count nouns mentioned here? Singular count nouns. A minute. Okay. Salmon. Mm, salmon. Is it like a fish, right? Exactly. Okay. okay. What about they? In a day. Say. Basketball player is singular and it's countable. Two players, three players, five players, seven players. And what about protein? Mm, protein and a lot of protein. Two proteins, no. No. Sandwich. Sandwich. Okay. Game. Game. Mm -hmm. Protein shake. Salad. Almond. Pasta. Pasta is uncountable. Uncountable. Fruit. 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 It's also uncountable. Okay. Well, I got. I think it's also breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. Thirteen plural nouns. Tom Brady is a football player. His diet is a little different than LeBron James. Right when he wakes up, he drinks a smoothie. His smoothie contains blueberries, bananas, nuts, seeds, and seeds. For lunch, he often eats some fish and lots of vegetables. He also eats some snacks throughout the day. His snacks include protein bars, fruits such as grapes, bananas, or apples, chips and guacamole, hummus, or raw vegetables. Now, what are the 13 plural nouns? In the previous one, singular, and here, plural nouns. Blueberries, bananas, no? Snacks, snacks, fruit, vegetables, grape, apple, chips, vegetables. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Very good. Now, seven non count nouns in the paragraph. Roger Referrer is one of the greatest tennis players of all time. He begins his day with waffle, waffles and cider and some cereal. 
He washes that down with coffee and some juice. Two hours before every match, Federer eats pasta with tomato sauce. Bananas are his go-to snack, and they are mine too. Sometimes he treats himself to some dessert. He likes a few scoops of ice cream or a chocolate bar. Okay, what are the seven long-time nouns that you can find in this paragraph? Waffles. Long-term nouns. Long-term nouns. Syrian. Syrian. Sido. 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 Sirope, right? Syrian. Syrian. Coffee. Coffee. Juice. Juice. Hours. Tomato sauce. Hours. You can count the hours. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Pasta. Okay. Pasta. Pasta. Ice cream. Ice cream. And dessert. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. ¿Por qué me salen eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. For me, there are eight. Non nouns. Because I do Syrian coffee, juice, pasta, tomato sauce, ice cream, and dessert. Mm -hmm. Okay, select the correct singular, plural, or non count noun. Hello, I'll be your waiter. What can I get for you today? Yes, I'll have van iced tea or iced teas. Iced tea. Iced tea, please. And I'll have a lemonade or lemonades. Lemonade. Entonces, un té helado y una limonada. And to eat, I'll the roast beef or roast beef? Roast beef. Roast beef. Beef is non-count. Single. With mashed potato or mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Exactly. Potatoes. And pea or peas? Peas. Peas. Mm -hmm. I'll have the fish or fishes? Fish. Fish. With soup or soups? Soup. In a salad or salad? Salad. In a salad, because you said the article up, which means one. And, okay, did you finish the exercise? Let's check. Great job, great job, you got 10, excellent. Excellent job, excellent job. Okay, esta, miren, aquí les faltó esta, ponerlos ahí. Very good, so now you are experts using count and non-count nouns, identifying count and non-count nouns. Very nice. Good. Did you do your homework? Yes. Okay. Those are my students. Very responsible. Mm -hmm. Who would like to share? Quien quiere compartir? By a five and another person five. Mm -hmm. mm. But this would be my mom likes Mexican food. Uh, my young brother likes seafood soup. Oh, nice. And uh, my best friend likes orange natural juice. Mm -hmm, me too. And I like grilled meat with orange natural juice. Wow, excellent, Carlita. Okay, now negative. Another person? Mm. 
Tatiana, ¿qué hay, Tatiana? Uh, my mom likes fried fish with rice and salad. Uh, my father likes, likes to eat tuna with rice and beans, uh, but he doesn't like to eat spaghetti. <laughs> okay. My sister likes pizza, a hamburger, French fry, and soda. She doesn't like to eat broccoli. <laughs> and broccoli is good for her. My cousin loves salad, but she doesn't like the vegetable. Okay. <laughs> My aunt uh, loves soup. Okay, thank you so much, Tatiana. Thank you for sharing with the class. Now, can you tell me why you eat, why you ate today for lunch? What did you have for lunch? For today? Yes, soup. today. Soup. Chicken soup. soup. No. Bean soup. Bean soup. Oh. <laughs> Delicious. Yummy, yeah. yummy. Emily, what did you have for lunch today? I, I had soup. I had soup. The asparagus. Asparagus soup. Wow. Yeah. Very <laughs> elegant. <laughs> okay. Tatiana, what did you have for lunch today? Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Mm. Shrimp, camarones. Oh, shrimp. 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 And fried fish. Wow, delicious. Invite me for lunch today, please. <laughs> okay, Noemi. Hello, teacher. What did you have for lunch today? Um, no, he almorzado. Sería ah. I haven't had lunch. Lunch yet. Wow. No, yeah. no he tenido tiempo, teacher. Oh, okay. But after class. After class, okay? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Carlita. Hasta pena me va a decir que, que he almorzado de, de tanto que han mencionado. <laughs> este, I have mora soup. Oh, it's delicious. Mora soup, yes. It's one of my favorites. With eggs. Eggs. With eggs, yes. With eggs. Um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Pot potatoes. Potatoes mm -hmm. and whiskey. Mm -hmm. No sé qué más. Okay. Chayote. Yeah, or, or pumpkin or, or carrots. You can also put some carrots. And me, I think Noemi is thinking of uh, eat some carrots <laughs> <laughs> for the lunch. Noemi is thinking about carrot salad, maybe carrot salad. <laughs> no, no, Noemi, como la molestamos, pobrecita Noemi, she's hungry. <laughs> well, I had some chow mein with a lot of vegetables, right? Broccoli, green pepper, mm -hmm. carrots, mm -hmm. and Chicken. celery, and onions. No, it was not chicken. And mm -hmm. it was not, it was with shrimps. Oh. Tell me with shrimps, like Tatiana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. And Sulma? Well, maybe, okay. I think she's having problems with the internet. Okay, so let's continue with the class. Let's see what we have next. We have a conversation. And in this conversation, it says, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. 
and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. So as you notice, the refrigerator looks like my refrigerator, nothing, right? <laughs> there's nothing, there's, there isn't any food. No, just kidding. There's some chicken and I don't know, what do you think? It's that. Potatoes? No Potatoes? Yes. Maybe. Or, or pears? Okay, maybe. Or apples. I don't know. We don't know. So um, they are talking about, look, they are using some sandwiches, some chicken. We don't have any bread. We don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. Let's buy some potato salad. So they are using the words some and any. Okay, we use some and any for countables and uncountable. Uh, okay, for non-count nouns, we have some uh, categories for non-count nouns. For example, food like bread, butter, cheese, chicken, fish, flour, pepper. Liquids like coffee, juice, milk, soda, tea, was, water. This is water, no was. Subjects like chemistry, English, history, math, and music. These things are non count Abstract ideas, anger, beauty, humor, justice, knowledge, good luck, love, and other things like furniture, homework, information, money, and so forth. All of these things are not plural. They are always singular. They are non count Okay, so we have the word some and the word any. Some is used in affirmative sentences. Count or non-count nouns, you can use it for both of them, but only in affirmative statements. Any is used also for count and non-count nouns, but only in negative statements and in questions. Look at the examples. Do we need any eggs? It's a question and we are using any. Yes, let's get some eggs. Let's get some. Consigamos algunos, right? No, we don't need any eggs. So as you notice, any is used in the question and also in the negative statement. And some is used in affirmative or positive. And this is for count nouns. X are count, you can count the X. What about bread? Is bread countable or non-countable? Podemos, el, el bread, ¿lo podemos contar en English? Can I say bread? Yes. Five bread? Sí. In English? No. No. So, do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any. Yeah. And yeah. so, any, again, is used in the question negative. But in the affirmative, we use some. So you can use some of any for cow nouns or non cow nouns. Example, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches, bread, lemonade. To be more specific, I'm eating an egg. Me estoy comiendo un huevo. 
Let's get some bread. Vamos a conseguir algo de pan. General, we use the plural form. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. And the teacher is sleepy. Wow, teacher. I ate too much. Okay, this is like the summary. Ah, uh, Erhan. It's only in countables and in singular. There is a plum, there is an apple, there is um, a burger, there is a student, there is an orange, I have a mango, I have two flowers, I have two cards, etc. Some is used with countables and uncountables, but only in affirmative sentences. There is some sugar. Sugar is non-count. There are some apples. There are uh, some eggs in the fridge. There are some dogs in the house. Okay? Any used with countables and uncountables, but in negative and in interrogative sentences. Examples, there isn't any sugar, there aren't any apples. Is there any sugar? Are there any apples? No hay nada de azúcar. No hay nada de manzana. No hay ni una. Hay, hay azúcar. Hay, alguna manz hay algunas manzanas. Okay, good. So now you're gonna work in groups or in pairs. And imagine that you are gonna make some tacos or pupusas or chicken soup, but you need some ingredients. So you have to think about what you have in your refrigerator and select the things that you have to buy. So you are gonna create a conversation with your partner. What do we need to buy? For example, if I say, Anita, let's make some tacos. Okay, what do we need to buy? Well, I have some tortillas and some tomatoes, but I don't have any meat. Do you have any meat? Yes, I have some meat. Okay. In the refrigerator. In the refrigerator. Okay, so we need to buy some tomato sauce and some avocados. Aguacate. Also onions. Yes, and we need to buy some onions. Some onions. Okay, so you're going to create this conversation, right, with your partners about making tacos, pupusas, chicken soup, or another recipe, another food you choose, okay? So you will work, you will be working in the groups, in the rooms, and um, you will present your conversation in front of the class, okay? I'm sorry.
Pero yo tengo una duda. Vamos a hacer la... ¿Qué necesitamos comprar? Por ejemplo, we need to buy... Plat eh, no, no es plátano, banana. We need to buy... Banana. Ajá, pero es que ahí tenemos que agregarle que si es son, son bananas o any bananas. Eso es lo que, eso es lo que tenemos que practicar. Son, son, ¿cómo? Ajá, es que es lo que estábamos, lo que estábamos viendo, si es este de... Uh, beans, los frijoles, pienso yo que los frijoles no se pueden, no se pueden contar. Any beans. Uh -huh. Este. Ok, eh, solo una aclaración. Vaya, se puede usar some en any para ambos, para contables y no contables. Lo único que some se utiliza en afirmativo para hacer afirmaciones. Y any en preguntas y en negativo. O sea, si va a preguntar, va a usar any. Y si va a decir negativo, que no tiene algo o no hay, es any. Uh -huh. Pero se pueden usar para ambos. Okay. Any es negativo. Y está ah. afirmando. Afirmativo, ajá. Y también en preguntas, any. Ah, por ejemplo... Do you have any bananas? Exactly. Y usted me va a y usted me va a responder. Yes, I have some I have bananas. Some bananas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good, excellent. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces era así. Bye. Ah, pues así sería entonces. En I say y y digo yo, no, no, we don't need any vegetable. Okay. Evelyn, uh, Noemi. Hola. No, we don't need any vegetable. No necesitamos ningún vegetal. ¿Qué más necesitamos para la sopa? Voy a apoyo. Algo que usted le echa a la sopa que nosotros no le echemos a la sopa. Pipianes. No, Pipianes. eso es común, ¿verdad? Teacher, how do you say pipianes in English? Pipianes. <laughs> No, let me look free. Let me Bueno, aquí dice que el nombre Pipián es una derivación de la palabra Pepita. The name PPM is a derivation from the word pepita, pumpkin seed. Entonces, PPM. 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 Teacher, ¿cómo podríamos formular how we can uh, make the questions about winning PPM? 
How much or how? And how many? How many PPNs do we need? How many? Mm -hmm. Evan, do you have any PPMs? We need. Do you need three PPMs? Do you need three PPMs? Three PPMs. Okay. Okay. What do you think about the chipiling? No? Chipiling. Chipiling. <laughs> we need, we need some, we need any chipilings. Chipping plants. Chipping plants. Plant. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, has the chipping? Chipping leaves. Chipping. Leaves. How many chipling we need to buy? How much chipling? How much? How much chipling? How much? It's uncountable, right? Yes. How much chipling? Chipling plants. You need a one dollar chipling plants. <laughs> Who else can, can contest? You can say a bunch. <laughs> Un manojo. Un manojo. Ah. ah. A bunch. A bunch. Ah, bunch. Oh, a quarter dollar, teacher. Sería, ¿Cómo sería una cora? Como nosotros quarter. decimos mal cor, quarter. A quarter. ¿Cuál? Two quarters. 50 cents of chipping. <laughs> Bye. Entonces, teacher, sería, we need uh, some square of the chipping. Mm, no. If you say a specific, you say we need a quarter of chipping. Or mm -hmm. you can only say we need some chipping. Mm -hmm. En general, es some. Pero si quieres ser específica, entonces sería a quarter or a punch. 
Vamos. Uh -huh. Are you about to finish? ¿Cuánto les falta? We finish. You almost finish. And practice, ok? Ok. No, I haven't. No, I haven't any my sin. Vaya, ahora solo le falta la azúcar. Ajá. Uh -huh. And do you have sugar? No. Sugar. Do you have any sugar? Any sugar. Any sugar. How do you say maicena in English? Corn starch. Uh, Corn starch. Corn starch. Empolear. Mmm. Let me see. Es como, como la revuelta la leche con la maicena uh -huh. para lo que se le echa al empanado. Uh, yeah. O es como el relleno. Uh -huh. Un relleno. Ok. Bueno, well, the stuffing. Uh, or milk stuffing. El stuffing. Stuffing es relleno. Así sería. Stuffing. Um, is correct when I say what do we need to buy to make empanadas o for make empanadas? To make. To make empanadas. What do we need to make empanadas? Uh -huh. And buy. Oh, what do we need to buy to make empanadas? Mm -hmm. ah, de what do sí, we need to buy to make empanadas? To make empanadas. Ah, de acuerdo. Creo que ya tenemos la... Vaya, ahora le voy a preguntar entonces, compañera. Vaya, dígame. What do we need to buy to make empanadas? Well, Tatiana, we need to buy, uh, we need to buy bananas, beans, oats, sugar, corn and starch, for to make a, a stuffing. And do you have any bananas? Yes, I have some bananas. Do you have any oil and milk? Yes, I have some oil, but I haven't any milk. <coughs> and do you have any stuffing? No, I haven't. I haven't any stuffing. Stuffing. Well, we need to buy a stuffing. We need to buy a stuffing to make empanadas. And that's it. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería ahí esa pregunta? Hola, Tati, lo siento. Me quedé hablando sola. Sí, así que así terminamos. Ajá. Estufin, recuerde que era la poleada, el relleno. Uh -huh. Sí. Pero me equivoqué, tendría que preguntar cornstarch, es la maicena. Sí. Vaya. Okay, I see you are ready for your conversation, so let's present them. Anita, Noemi, and Evelyn, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, lights, camera, action. <laughs> uh, I want to eat chicken soup. What do we need to buy? We need to buy some onions. We need to buy chicken. We need to buy potatoes. We need to buy rice. 
and uh, we need to buy salt. Emily? Uh, do we need to buy salt and vegetables? No, we don't need to buy any vegetable because I don't like it. Um, I also need, we need to, we need Pipians. Oh my goodness, oh, I like oh a yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, it's good. Okay, we finished. <laughs> okay, thank you girls. Thank you for your participation. Okay, Carlita and Tatiana. Good afternoon. <laughs> este compañera. Ahorita le pregunto. Do we need to buy to make empanada? Well, Tatiana, we need to buy so we need to buy, sorry, bananas, beans, oats, sugar, corn starch for to make a stuffing. Do you have any bananas? Yes, I have some bananas. Do you have any oil and milk? Yes. I have a, yes, I have some milk, but I haven't, I haven't. I don't have, I don't have. In, I don't have. I have haven't? I, no. No, I don't have. Mm. I don't have any oil. oil. And Tatiana, do you have? Cornstarch. No, I don't have cornstarch. Well, we need to go to the supermarket to buy a cornstarch for to make empanadas. That's it. To make empanadas, okay? You don't need to say for to make, just to make empanadas. Okay, great. Now I would like two empanadas with coffee, with a cup of coffee. Okay, so Tatiana and Carlita, you have to invite me, okay, to have coffee with empanaditas. <laughs> Very good. Well, it was a good practice. Now, um, after this, um, I just will show you the conversation. This is in the platform. So you can watch the videos in the platform, right? But um, this is about different breakfasts around the world. In this conversation, these people have fish for breakfast. Imagine, imagine the idea. Do you like the idea of having fish for breakfast? <laughs> Maybe not. So what I want you to do for tomorrow's class is to investigate a popular dish or breakfast in another country. And you will talk about it and don't forget to mention the ingredients, okay? So for tomorrow, investigate about maybe um, a Colombian breakfast, a Brazilian breakfast, and Chinese breakfast, a Spanish breakfast or Italian breakfast, okay? So tomorrow, everybody will speak about a different dish or a breakfast from another part of the world, not El Salvador, okay? Another part of the world. And well, it's, it, it's 1.56, so we have four okay. minutes for the wrap up. Sorry. Yes. How many dish do you want? Only one. Only one. Only so one, yes. But of course, if you want to investigate about more than one, you're free. You're free to do it.
Good. So I already sent um, an exercise for the wrap up exam a reading. My breakfast, lunch, and dinner by Jessica Perry. I always get up early and have breakfast at 7.30. I usually have some milk, some cold milk, and an egg. With some brown bread and a bowl of yogurt. At a school, I have lunch with my friend at 12.30. I usually have, and you have to he uh, select here, a, an, or some, or any. Okay, so you will be reading and selecting the correct word. That will be your homework for tomorrow. Or today you can complete this. So can you tell me guys what you learned today in the class? Can you tell me? ¿Qué aprendieron hoy en clase? ¿O qué le gustó más? Vamos a ver. ¿Para qué uso son? What do we use some for? We use for some for non countables in countables in a statement, a film statement. Excellent. What about any? Any we use any in a countables in um not countables nouns and in a statement in negative statement in a question. Exactly. Any can be used for both, either count or non count nouns, but only in negative sentences and in questions, right? Do you have yes. any other question? Do you have any question about the topic? <laughs> and, I am, and I'm using any. Do you have any question? <laughs> Um, can somebody tell me five non count nouns? Five non count nouns? Noemi? Me puede decir cinco no contables. Five non count nouns. Food or other things? Water. Mail. Mm. Uh, teacher pan, se me olvidó cómo se dice pan. Bread. Bread. Mm -hmm. Oil. Yes, very good, Naomi. Okay, so I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to do your homework and have a nice afternoon. Bye, teacher Dems. Bye-bye, you're welcome.